hello and welcome to Sydney, aka the best city in Australia. Yes, I'm biased. Yes, I'm from Sydney, but I do genuinely believe it is the best. We've got good weather. We've got good beaches. We've got good food. We don't have good nightlife. That's fine. Still the best city. Anyway, so I decided to come up with 50 of the best things to do in Sydney. Got to admit, by the end of the list, I was kind of like, uh, get a coffee kind of ran out of things to do but still but everywhere in this video is accessible by public transport so as long as you've got your opal card you can get to it by like bus or train or ferry and yes Sydney's like a huge city and there's so much to do like on the outskirts this is just more focused in on city sort of stuff that's easy to get to also this backdrop like really looks fake like it kind of looks like I'm in an iMovie with like a photo in the background but like I promise you it's not it's real Watch the sunrise at Wando Beach. Sit on the rocks at Tamarama and watch all the surfers. So many good places in Sydney to get a sigh, but this is my favorite because look how big this is! Like, that's insane. It's like bigger than my head, and it's like 12 bucks, and it's right near Bondi Beach. And oh my god, and it's so good! And they're very generous with their peanut butter, which I'm a fan of. That. My basic card is happy. So this is just a little sunken garden in Paddington, like right off the main road and you can't even tell that it's like in the middle of the city. It's so beautiful and quiet and it's just like trees and water and it's just so peaceful and uh, I love it. And then just like walk around the streets of Paddington because they're really beautiful. They're like very rich people streets, like wide with big trees and beautiful houses and flowers and it's just a nice place for a quick walk look at houses that you wish you could buy that kind of thing go to nudie cafe in surrey hills now this place is amazing they are like totally gluten free mostly vegan and like dairy free and all that i'm not vegan but i don't eat gluten or dairy most of the time they do these donuts with like no gluten no dairy like vegan they're amazing i don't know how they taste so good but they taste really really good let me tell you even if you don't like have any dietary requirements whatever just go try them they're delicious i got this nutella cookie which i'm super keen to try bloody love nutella <laughs> Chinatown and get dumplings. There are obviously heaps of places to get dumplings around here but the best one is right here and they have this dish which is like eggplant something, braised eggplant. Oh my god it tastes like crap. It's so good. I don't know how because eggplant is gross but this dish is so good and you have to try it and their dumplings are so good and it's just like oh, it's just really really good. So if you do anything in Sydney come get dumplings here. This is it. Oh my god, okay, it doesn't look amazing, but let me tell you, oh, it's so good. I'm so excited to eat it. Go for a walk through the Botanic Gardens. Opera House. 
gallery is right in the middle of the city and it's beautiful there's some really beautiful stuff in there and it isn't just like boring paintings I mean like what I think is boring paintings it's got like old stuff and new stuff and sculptures and drawings and watercolors and yeah <laughs> So this laneway is actually really cool. It's in the middle of the city, but they kind of like have these little speakers that play the sounds of native birds that like would have lived here if there wasn't a city here. So there's like all of these bird cages and you walk through and you just hear like bird song. I mean, it's fake bird song, but yeah, it's kind of nice. Just like in the middle of the city. Ah, uh, and here's where I live. Nice. Visit the Museum of Contemporary Art. It's like a cute little house thingy. You can see the city in the background and then Manly over there. It's just like a really nice place to come for a walk, especially because there's like no one here. Harbour Beach. There are so many of these like little harbour beaches dotted around the harbour and they have good views like you can see to the opera house and you can see to the bridge and everything and like I think they're better than the surf beaches because they're like relaxed there's normally not as many people you can just like lie out on the sand there's no waves so yeah I love Milk Beach there's also Camp Cove there's heaps of like just little ones dotted around and if you just walk around around like the Hermitage foreshore track you'll find heaps and they're so good. So if you don't know, a pork roll is like Vietnamese, kind of comes from the time when France um, colonized Vietnam and so it's like Vietnamese flavors but in French bread. Sometimes it's called banh mi, pork roll, um, and yeah, so everyone kind of says that this one is the best in Sydney, the best place to come get it, and it's so delicious. Have the best gelato in Sydney. definitely cheaper places to get seafood and to get fish and chips but it is nice like sitting by the water and eating your fish and it's very fresh like I don't think there's anywhere fresher in Sydney to get seafood <laughs> next one is get a coffee now this might seem very obvious like I probably don't even need to tell you to drink coffee but Australia has very, very good coffee, and Sydney has very good coffee. Maybe not as good as Melbourne, but I think there are still some places that are just as good. <laughs> okay, so I love iced coffee. I am a ice long black kind of gal but if you go to a cafe that's like four or five dollars and ain't nobody got time for that when it's like a couple of shots of espresso and water like I'm not paying five dollars for that 
So, if you go to 7-Eleven, they have iced coffee for $2 and you just like get the ice from the fridge and like you're meant to press a little button on the machine that fills it with like milky cold coffee, which is probably very good. But what I do is I just take that ice and I put it under the machine and I get just like an espresso shot and then fill it up with my own water. And there you go, it's an ice long black for $2. I'm so smart. in Cremorne and check out all of the amazing houses that I really, really wish that I owned. Oh, Jimmy. And then come to this pool, which is right on the water and like, look at that view. It's like right near the ferry stop and it's super easy to get to. Obviously the city's like right there perfect place to come on a hot day, especially a weekday when there's nobody else here because on the weekends it gets very busy. Eat avocado toast. Come walk around Sydney Uni and pretend like you are at Hogwarts. So obviously this isn't actually where they filmed the Harry Potter movies but for some reason someone out there thinks that they did because like there were newspaper headlines that all these tourists were like coming here and taking all these photos being like oh my god this is where they filmed harry potter but like definitely not this is australia and that was filmed in england um but the buildings do look very nice although it's like there are a few really nice like old buildings right next to like gross buildings that were built in like the 50s that just look kind of ugly so it's like a weird mix but they are very nice and while you're here walk through the graffiti tunnel some delicious Italian food. This is like some of the best gelato in Sydney class. It's like really big and it was only 450. Also, they have really good coffee, but don't ask for skim milk or soy milk or light milk or ice. Almond milk wasn't even on there. No almond milk. But I'm sure if I'd asked. Yeah, look, they are very classic and um, traditional. Very traditional Italian, but like it's good. It's good coffee. Get a photo with the Luna Park face. It's free to get in. You just have to pay to go on the rides, but you can just come and like get a photo with the iconic face and have a walk through and like go on the ferris wheel especially because the ferris wheel has this view and then walk around the harbour to visit wendy's secret garden it's just like a really beautiful little park space with heaps of different um, paths and flowers and trees and it has a really nice view and it's just like quiet and peaceful okay but like imagine living in that house how good would that be oh dreams then from there you can walk up the road to Blues Point, which is like the best view of the harbour, I think, in my opinion. Okay, so this is Blues Point and like, sorry, I'm very sweaty, it's a very hot day, but this is got to be one of the best views of the bridge and of the opera house because like you get it all in one beautiful shot. And you can just come down here with your coffee and like have a seat on the bench which has a bit of rubbish around it but still and just like chill out visit the most photogenic pool in sydney so to 
get in and swim, you've got to pay like seven bucks. But if you don't want to swim, you can just pay $2.60 and you can come in and like check out the view and also just like go to the cafe. Go for a morning run or a morning walk in Centennial Park. Okay, so Sydney obviously has heaps of parks, but Centennial Park is so good because it's really big. It's like kind of near the city. It's like just on the outskirts and it's um, if people come here and like go walking and running and they walk their dogs There's lots of dogs that you can see. Oh look, here's one coming now And um, There's like a cafe so you can get a sneaky coffee when you're done with your run or your walk Can you hear those birds? Like, listen to that. It's so nice Go shopping in the QBB or just like walk through it and look at how beautiful it is. Keep an eye out for this street library. Sometimes it's also called a book box and basically it's just like a box in a certain place that people leave books that they don't want anymore and then you can take a book if you want a book or you can donate a book if you want to donate a book. Get two for one cocktails at the different drama. Visit a rooftop bar. probably know by now you can tell that I love food and love a harborside park because that's basically everything that was in this video um, you can also probably tell that I have too many sunglasses because there were like three different pairs in this video didn't even mean to do that oh well so um, yeah make sure you let me know in the comments if there's anything you think I missed and 